All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Survival HQ here. So th today I thought I'd make a video of my EDC flashlight. This is the flashlight I carry on an everyday basis. This is the Phoenix PD35. <coughs> now I've had mine for about three years. And when I picked mine up, it was around 80 or $82. And for the sake of the video, I just went online to see how much it cost. And right now they're selling on Amazon for around 90 to 100 bucks. But it's expensive, but you get what you pay for. When you, you spend good money for a flashlight, you get exactly what you're paying for. Most anyways, but you're getting exactly what you're paying for. So let's get into it here. So this flashlight comes with the sheath, the flashlight, a lanyard, which I don't have, can't find it, and two extra O-rings as well. They're around somewhere, can't find them. So let's uh, get the four things that come with it. Let's talk about the sheath. The sheath is very light, weighs nothing, three quarters of an ounce. Velcro is very good quality. It's about three years old. Still nice and fastening firm. Comes with a belt loop. Comes with a, a ring on the back where you can tie it for around your neck. Very good quality. As you can see, it's held up well. Very elastic -y. It's It's good quality sheath. I love it. This is how I carry it most of the time. Every day on my hip. Good sheath. Let's talk about the flashlight itself. So the flashlight uses two CR123 batteries or one 18650 battery as well. <coughs> yes, not AAA, not AA, but I kind of like the uh, the different battery for the extra power. That's what I kind of like with these uh, tactical flashlights. Let's talk about the flashlight again. It's five and a half inches long, one inch wide, weighs three ounces or 87 grams. It's uh, impact resistant to one meter. It's made of aircraft grade aluminum. The bulb is a Cree XM LED bulb, as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me again. Bulb is rated for 50,000 hours. So you're, you're pretty much losing this flashlight or breaking it before that bulb's going to wear out. Uh, what else can I add about the flashlight? So I said it's 960 lumens. Uh, it has a cousin. The UC35, which exactly like this, 960 lumens, same settings. Differences on the back side, it has a chargeable port here for USB. I'll get into that a little bit later. And here's the push button on the front, you'll see. Right there. On the back tail, uh, tail clip is uh, the push button to activate the light. And this is to change the modes. You're going to see on the front here, the bezel, it says hot, very hot warning. That's one thing about uh, one, one thing about these flashlights, the bezel does get hot, especially on turbo. The body itself I like. It has a really good pocket clip. Very nice pocket clip. Very stiff. I mean very stiff. In fact, I don't pocket carry it because it is so stiff. But if you were to wear it in, uh, you can remove it. But if you were to wear it in, this would be nice. Uh, it would be also very good on the outside of a bag. Uh, that's not coming off. That clip is very sturdy. Uh, the knurling here is very nice. Gives you good purchase. Good purchase to the flashlight. Nice grip, even when wet. I've had my hands wet dealing with this, and it's nice. The push button is nice. It doesn't sit, it doesn't stand on its tail. That's one minor fly. How with the flashlight? I mean, a lot of the newer flashlights, a lot of them have uh, tail stands, so you can stand it up, or magnetic, so you can attach it to your car hood or whatever, and stand it up that way. So, minor flaw, I guess if you want to call it a flaw. It does have two little holes here where you can put the lanyard through, so you can hang it around your neck or around your wrist. So that's about everything with the outside of the flashlight and all the details. Let's talk about lumens and uh, use. <coughs> Excuse me again, a little cough. So, let's turn it on here. When it comes to modes, you have eco, low, medium, high, and then turbo, and then strobe. Let's get that off there before we all go nuts. So, eco or firefly, 14 lumens for 150 hours. So nice, 150 hour flashlight. Uh, low, let's change the mode here. Low, 50 lumens for 38 hours. <coughs> Medium, which is what I normally use it on, 180 lumens for 10 hours. High is 460 lumens for 3 hours 15 minutes. And then you have turbo, like I said, 960 lumens for 1 hour and 10 minutes max power. 
Uh, strobe is 960 lumens. And the strobe is set to last for 200 hours. Sorry, 20 hours. Sorry, yeah, that's my mistake. 20 hours for strobe. So, anyways. So let's talk about a little bit about... Uh, the use of this flashlight, um, I mean, you could use it uh, with a pistol as well. Uh, that's one thing about it. You could use it with a pistol in order to to light your way. So that's useful. Uh, it is a good tactical flashlight. Uh, I like it that way, cross hand with a pistol. You're able to, to light up where you're going, uh, what you're seeing. So that's useful. Um, this bezel is very stiff. It's made of aircraft aluminum. You could use it as a self-defense weapon. In, you know, the, getting hit by this is not going to feel too nice. Uh, not at all. It's nice and sturdy and heavy. You can defend yourself pretty good with this flashlight. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, standing in my bedroom or standing in a hallway, flashing it, uh, showing you the, the beam and everything. Uh, I'm not big on those in flashlight reviews. Uh, I mean, you can't really tell in such a small area like a, a hallway or a room. Yeah, you need to be outside and I'm not going to do that for the sake of this review. But take me at my word, uh, it is great outdoors. I mean, uh, very good quality flashlight. I love it. Uh, very durable. It's lasted very long. Uh, I do like the settings. Like I said, the uh, Eco is very nice. And then I usually run it on medium. And then you have the turbo, which <laughs> is bright. I mean, make, make no mistake, if, if I come up on you and flash you with this... Uh, as a self-defense me mechanism or or without you expecting it you cannot look my direction with this facing you so you can defend yourself just simply with the light let alone smashing somebody with it uh, so that's another important thing I mean that's why I carry it as my EDC flashlight uh, it's almost as a self-defense mechanism especially at night uh, somebody comes towards me and I flashlight uh, you know I flash them in the eyes with this and tell them to back off they can't see and they don't want to look my direction so I can either leave and escape or they're just going to get the hint okay this guy's not uh, messing around and if he does get too close uh, I mean if I have to use it as a weapon I will but I love the flashlight like I said it's a very good quality always worth the money uh, very happy with Phoenix uh, the only drawbacks I see are the there's no uh, you know no tail stand which is a minor flaw and I wish I'd have got the uh, UC35 the USB rechargeable version well, it's not a complaint necessarily. I mean, it's $25 more. Uh, when I bought this one, I didn't even know that one was on the market. I would have considered getting that first because having all these new portable batteries around, it's nice to be able to charge your flashlight right there. And like I said, to get lumens anywhere from 14 lumens to 960, it uh, offers quite a, quite, a, quite a package for what you're, uh, what you're paying. And like I said, it comes in this great sheath, and I'm very happy with it. Very good quality, yeah. Uh, flashlight from phoenix anyways guys please uh hope you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and as always guys i'll be back again uh, another time as soon as i can with another video take care